Metula, on the front line in the event of a new armed conflict with Hezbollah. The small town of merely 2,000 residents is indeed located on the Israel-Lebanon border. There is a, a, a real danger that, according to the war plan of the Hezbollah, they are planning, because of the fact that Hezbollah is actually, uh, the, uh, Metula is located on the border, uh, they are planning, Metula and other Israeli communities, they plan to, with their special forces unit, they plan to occupy parts of Metula. Lately, the Shia terrorist group has increased its provocations along the 112-kilometer border that separates Israel from Lebanon to a near-daily basis. Former IDF colonel Kobe Marom warns that this is likely an attempt by the Party of God, supported by Iran, to blame Israel for its own actions. They want to create like kind of attrition war along the border. We have to change totally our, our strategy and have a determined and, and aggress aggressive retaliation to any attempt to escalate the situation. Not far from Metula, the village of Rajar, two weeks ago, an anti-tank missile was fired by Hezbollah into Israeli territory from the proximity of the village. It's happened exactly here. From this ridge, from this skyline, they launched the missile to it. Just, they didn't want to target anybody. They just want to send a message to the Israeli government. According to Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah, Israel is illegally occupying the northern part of this village where some 1,500 residents live. When we pull out from Lebanon on May 2000 as a unilateral withdrawal, when we work with the UN inspectors about the line, the exact international border line, we saw on the, on the Lebanese maps that the border, by mistake by the way, is actually in the middle of the village. A village conquered by Israel from Syria in 1967. A piece of land considered by Hezbollah as Lebanese. A year ago, Israel built a security barrier around the entire Rajar village at the request of its residents. The residents of Rajar, who are members of the Halawi community, are also Israeli citizens. In recent weeks, Rajar has been the center of tensions between Hezbollah and Israel. Although the residents categorically refuse to be part of Lebanon, Hezbollah claims that it is a question of defending what it considers Lebanese sovereignty. Do you know why? Because they want to get the support of the Lebanese people. You know, Lebanese, Lebanon is in a very tough economy situation. They want to show the, Israel, the Lebanese people, the six million people that live in Lebanon, we're taking care of the Lebanese land. That's why they put Rajar and Shabba Farz, two territorial issues, in the middle, uh, on the table as part of the escalation. Sheba Farms, or Mount Hardov for Israel, is located east of Rajar in these mountains, a territory that is part of the Golan Heights annexed in 1981 by Israel, which Lebanon would like to recover, even if historically the latter belonged to Syria until the Six-Day War. Recently, Hezbollah also set up a military tent there, permanently guarded by a dozen armed militants. They should act immediately. That's the rules. That's the, the, their mission. They did not, and they asked the political leader and the cabinet, what do you think we, we should do? For the residents in northern Israel, the 33-day war between Israel and Hezbollah in the summer of 2006, dubbed as the Second Lebanon War, is still a vivid memory. In the small community of Shari Yashuv, less than four kilometers from the border, the 600 residents stand ready. Uh, this belongs to the kindergarten that is out here. They have uh, toys and everything they like, kinder teachers. They bring them here and they play with them so to, to get uh, accustomed for, for the place. They need to be prepared. We have, uh, they have beds here. There is toilet, there is water, there is air condition. The prophecy was given to the fools. I cannot tell you when. It might be in five minutes and it might be next year. I don't know. But I'm sure it will happen. Like most other Israeli communities in the region, Shar Yeshuv does not have enough bomb shelters. If they will fire us from up, Dovha may mount them. We even, do, we even don't have 15 seconds to reach the shelter. Of course there is a concern, because people, you see, no one likes the war, no one, no one likes to, to feel the danger of the war. 
but uh, we are living in Israel, come on. So we are not living in France. The IDF estimates that Hezbollah, which has increased its military arsenal since 2006, has more than 200,000 missiles in its possession today. And in the event of a new armed conflict, Israel could face around 6,000 rocket attacks during the first days of combat. 